Hello, I am Denise from The Darling Manor and welcome to another video. So in this video, I had a few things that I wanted to do. I had picked up a whole heap of baskets while I was off shopping and I also had quite a few frames that I wanted to create a um, gallery wall and I also wanted to create a basket wall with all the baskets that I had picked up. These are really cheap and easy DIYs. All the baskets cost me probably five dollars or like they're a dollar each and the frames were the same they were a dollar each I upcycled a frame and just hung them up really easily I'll show you what I did and you can follow along just on another note I I am very sorry if I sound croaky and a little bit hoarse because I have a cold at the moment and yeah it wasn't gonna stop me from doing another video so just gotta get on with it so I've been wanting to do this for a while. I want to have a gallery wall in the nursery. So this is what it looks like at the moment. It's very dismal. It's just a plain white wall. This one picture from one of the frames that I thrifted and it's got a beautiful print from my sister. She made this. It's beautiful and it kind of gave me the inspiration to finally do the nursery gallery wall. So this is kind of what I'm envisioning for the gallery wall. Get off the frame, Zephaniah. So for one of the pieces of art, I'm thinking of having a print of Zeph's foot and one of his hand. And I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I'm gonna have to somehow get paint on his feet and hands and get it onto the paper with minimal mess. So let's see how this goes. So what we're using is just some tan coloured paint, a paintbrush and some paper and a little baby. So after I had it hanging on the wall, I kind of felt like it was missing a frame. So I grabbed the other frame that I had gotten from the op shop and I decided I wanted to add this to the gallery wall as well, but I needed to upcycle it first. The paint's all dry, so now I'm going to go in with a permanent marker and just go right around the edges with a fake kind of stand back distressed look. Just a cheap way of doing it, really. So I finished doing this frame, but the only thing is I want to add it to the gallery wall and it has no hanging hooks or anything on this. So I am going to try DIY my own using a staple gun and some twine. So the staples were too big to actually attach the twine to the back of the frame, so I just ended up tying some knots. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully that will do the job.
So these were the baskets that I got from the op shop and I'm just planning to hang them up on the wall with some removable hooks. So I ended up tying a little bit of twine to the back so that they could sit on the hooks properly and it was a pretty cool hack because you can't see it from the front but yeah, so super easy. So thank you very much for watching and I hope that this inspired you to make your own basket wall or your own gallery wall. You'll find all these things in the op shops, they're not hard to find and they're so super cheap and so easy to knock up yourself. If you haven't already then um, we'd love if you could follow us on Instagram at the Darling Manor and also don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment below and let me know just what your favourite DIY was. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.